So much devastation in southwestern Connecticut in those deadly storms. Crews continue to clean up this evening. A lot of you have sent in photos and videos of what you experienced. News 8's Katherine Hauser shows us. Heavy rain and severe flooding walloping southwestern Connecticut. News 8 viewers are eyes and ears on the ground. Many of you capturing what some call a one in a thousand year flood. Six to 13 inches of rain falling in just hours. Route 34 by the Stevenson Dam getting washed away. The floodwaters moving boats, docks, even jet skis at the Lake Zor Family Marina. In Oxford, one of the town's hardest hit by floodwaters. It left drivers stuck with roads buckling or even washing away. Chris sent us multiple views of Oxford's six and eight mile brooks that turned into rushing rivers. In Derby, Lori sent us this view from her back door, water up to the steps of her deck and beyond. Oh my God, this is insane! In Naugatuck, the soaked ground giving way, sliding toward another home. And this is another view of that on Andrew Avenue. Roads almost unrecognizable under the swift moving water on Hunter Mountain Road. Route 7 in Wilton also covered in water, forcing drivers to seek alternative routes. And cars submerged between Marchin and Umpawag Road in Redding. In Bethel, a similar story, a pond breaching its banks. And you were swimming in this last year. In Newtown, a homeowner using a broom to divert water in his driveway. Also, Quarter Road in Sandy Hook, bending while being washed away. And in Southbury, drivers caught off guard by rising floodwaters left stranded by the Southbury Shopping Plaza. You can share your photos and videos anytime in our gallery on WTNH.com. I'm Katherine Hauser, News 8.